welcome back to another video. My name's Erica, if you're new. It is Saturday, March 30th, Easter weekend. Uh, I'm waiting for Elena. I thought I just saw a car flash by. Um, it is Saturday, I have a lot to do to get ready for Easter, so I'm gonna do kinda like a Easter prep and vlog. I'll vlog tomorrow, and sometimes I plan on vlogging a lot during like family get-togethers, and I just forget to pick up my camera because I'm too you know just in the moment enjoying it and so I usually don't get a lot of clips I'll try to get more um you know we'll see but I'll put those in at the end of this video but if you watched my last video I made the cookies I need to roll those out, or I made the dough. I need to roll those out and bake those today and decorate those. I need to make a couple pies. I need to fill the Easter eggs, make the Easter baskets. We're gonna also bring up our two four foot tables and take this one downstairs and it fits more people for dinner. So Marion, still recovering from surgery, cannot be doing that, so Jackson and I will do that. Also, Elena's coming over uh, to visit for a little while, so she may help. I know and we're gonna go sit outside with Clyde because it is a beautiful day and he wants out. So I think today and tomorrow, it's supposed to be 78 for the high. I could not have asked for a more beautiful Easter weekend. But it is also a Saturday, so I'm trying to get all my laundry done, my typical weekend things. I know Clyde, we're gonna go outside very soon. So yeah, I'm just sorry to pick up the camera, do a little do a little Easter prep. Um, I wanted to show you, I showed you in my last video the orange dress that I had intended to use for Easter, and I didn't wear it. I, I'm taking it back, it's still right there. But um, I'll show you the outfits that we got for Easter. I have no idea. Sometimes we try to coordinate with all the kids and everything, but that just gets difficult. So I have no idea what anybody's wearing, but I know what we're wearing is navy and white is gonna be the colors we wear. Pretty easy to match with other colors. This is the shirt. Actually, we just went to Goodwill because I yesterday realized all of Jackson's shirts are size small and way too way too short for him, so he's in a medium now. So we got this. I need to wash it, but it was only $4.99, and it's like navy and white, like small checks. And then Marion's got this one, so he'll wear. There were those two, and then this is the dress that I got at Gabe's the other day. I only paid seven dollars for it, and it's real summery. I'm a little hesitant because. I'm not sure if I'm ready for short sleeves and a short dress, but um, just because it's been cold. But tomorrow it's supposed to be nice, but see, it's got this like really pretty navy design on the bottom. And yeah, I love it. It's so pretty and it's like super comfy. So that is what we're, we are wearing, but of course you'll see all that. We're going to hopefully get to take some pictures with the kids and, you know, everybody will have to bring a change of clothes because no one wants to be in their nice Easter clothes all day. <laughs> But we are having Easter dinner with everybody, so um, after church, I guess we'll probably be getting things ready too. But so tomorrow, I don't know what time. I think we'll probably eat around six, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna uh, have to. I'll probably do a lot of the preparing the food after church tomorrow, so that gives me a few hours. So I don't have to like come home and have everything ready. So it's kind of nice. Clyde's up to his old antics. He's chasing a bee. He keeps chasing a bee that's on the outside of the screen. You gotta keep those bees out. Yeah, we'll go outside soon. I'm gonna get this video uploaded by six, so I gotta do the thumbnail and upload, and then Elena's gonna come over. I think we're gonna go sit outside because it's so beautiful and just visit for a little while. It's always nice when my adult kids wanna come spend time with me. I always, always welcome that. So but I'm trying to get this done so that when she gets here, I can you know, focus on, on her for a little while. And then I've got to start working on the cookies because that's going to take me a long time. So I want to, but I enjoy that kind of stuff. It's not like all the stuff I have to do today is stuff that I really enjoy. So it's not like a chore. I just have to still get it done. All right, it is eight o'clock now. Elena's been here for a while. We've been talking and um, she's going to actually help me do some of this Easter prep because it's getting late. We actually went and got dominoes because we were just talking. I am going to roll in my cookie dough. So I made this in my last video and it is hard as a rock. It is an ab workout rolling this cookie dough out. But I went through my cookie cutters to see what I had and I knew I had an Easter egg shape. So I have that one and then I have this little butterfly and then I have a flower. So I'm not sure how many cookies this will make. It makes a lot, but um, I don't remember. Maybe like 24, maybe two dozen.
So I think we made about 21 cookies, but these are really thick. Some of them are thicker than others. This one's pretty thick, but it's really good because they need to hold up to all the icing and the sprinkles. So we're just letting those cool. I have more in the oven. Um, we did mostly eggs, but we have a few flowers and a few butterflies. But Elena is going to help me fill our eggs. So these are the prize eggs. I'm going to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and we're just going to put like five dollars, four dollars, three dollars, two dollars, one dollar, you know, first through fifth. Maybe some candy too. We'll have to see how much. Hopefully we have enough candy. I think I have 72 eggs. So that should be enough for a bunch of grown kids. <laughs> Elena's got clothes. Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. She's so Chloe's cute. actually Elena's cat. Mm -hmm. She missed her. But she didn't take her because she was bonded to her mama. So she left her here. This is Paisley's little oh. Easter basket I got. Got some Easter grass. I showed I showed this in another video, but I got her this little egg. Easter shaped sorter eggs with colors and shapes. I got her some of her little pouches. She loves these little applesauce pouches. A little onesie that's so cute. And then Marion picked out this little Jesus Loves Me bunny. And then we got her a little spring book. So I'm just gonna put all these in her little Easter basket. I think I'm gonna put like a ribbon on the top.
it is Sunday morning. We're about to leave for church. This is my dress I showed you. It's so cute. Can't believe I only paid seven bucks for it. It is so comfortable too. And I was worried I'd be a little too cold, but it's actually almost a little bit warm outside. So much so that they're saying we could have thunderstorms this afternoon. I'm hoping not. I'm praying not because it would be like right at the time when like everybody's coming over and we want to do like outside stuff. So hopefully it will not, but we'll just have to see. But we're going to go to church now. When I get home, I have so much to do. church now um we're gonna take our table our regular table downstairs i don't know if i told you that yesterday and put the two four foot tables up here because we can see eight people and i was debating on if we should just put the leaf in this table but we can only fit six in and i'd just rather have the other one so jackson is helping marion because he can't do any lifting or anything like that so he's doing that i'm gonna um put the laundry over, move some laundry over just to be a little bit ahead of it because I, tomorrow's Easter Monday, so Jackson's out of school. I don't feel like I have to get all like his uniforms washed today. So I do have another day to catch up on that, but I'm gonna go also after I do the laundry, I'm gonna go ahead and make my two pies. I'm gonna make a chocolate pie and a banana pie. So easy, you just mix pudding, milk. It shows you on here if you wanna make a pie, how much milk. It's like two cups if you wanna make pudding, but like a cup and one and three fourths maybe, I think. If you want to do a pie so it's a little bit more firm and then you just put that in your pie crust and then you put cool whip on top and i prefer the day of eating it the day of making it that's why i didn't make them yesterday because the crust is a little crunchier if you wait even the next day it gets a little more soft marion doesn't mind it he loves it but i like to eat it when, when it's first done so we're going to do banana cream in a shortbread crust and chocolate in a graham cracker crust and this is the bigger one so that's gonna be a little bit bigger those are the only two desserts that i'm making besides the cookies which didn't turn out as beautiful as i would have liked but i was just tired and <laughs> just trying to do a few last night and then i saved all of these cookies to be done later when everybody else gets here if anybody wants to decorate i know madison does um so that is and then I, elena's gonna bring some kind of like orange almond cake she got it at this like european bakery so we're gonna eat for dinner this easter for dinner but um kind of watching the weather because when we actually walked out of church it was sprinkling a little bit and now we're in line for like this big batch of storms to move through like probably between like four and six which is exactly the time we wanted to be you know outside
So these have to sit in the refrigerator for probably like a half an hour. I just let them set, not too, not too long. And then once they're set, I can put the Cool Whip on and then we'll stick them back in the refrigerator until it's time to eat them. It is full on raining now and it's kind of getting cold out here. So I did have both the doors open and the window, but I'm gonna shut it for a little while. I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my cream corn in the crock pot. I've shown this recipe a lot of times, but if you've missed it, if you don't know how to make it, it's so easy and it's so delicious. It's, um, there's several different ways to make it. My sister makes it a little bit different than I do. Um, she uses like the Rudy's recipe from a restaurant in Texas called Rudy's Barbecue. It's amazing, it's like the best, but I've just used this one for years and years. It doesn't really taste much different, but there are a few varieties, but you can look it up. But this is the way I do it. Use like a tablespoon of sugar, three cans of corn, and you drain them, and then a stick of butter diced up or sliced up, and then a block of cream cheese, and you wanna cut that up as well, and then a cup of milk. You put it all in your crock pot, and you don't stir it. I kind of stir everything, and then I put in the butter and cream cheese, and then you cook it on low for three hours, and then stir it all together. It's delicious, it's creamy, it's so good, and I pretty much make it every time we have a family get together. Kids, you know the adult kids. I think everybody wants to participate, so we got surprise eggs. We got to be sneaky with these. Okay. I think we should hide them over there. Yeah, we are. Uh -oh. We are. holiday in the books. <laughs> um, I just took my mom home and when I got home, Marion had, my sink was literally just like piled, overflowing. 
but he got all that done. I'm gonna do a few little other things, um, wipe off the counters and the kids all left, the kids, I keep calling them the kids, I know they're not kids. A lot of them left their eggs here so that Paisley can play with them because she really loves plastic Easter eggs. They all were totally into the egg hunt, which was so fun, um, but I'm just, totally exhausted so i'm gonna finish cleaning this up and then tomorrow like i said is easter monday jackson's out of school so i get to sleep in that is like if i get a day i get to sleep in it's just my favorite day so um i yeah i'm gonna enjoy that and then i have a lot to do tomorrow but that'll wait until after i sleep in but i'll be vlogging tomorrow actually so make sure to come back for another one but i hope you all you and your family had a blessed easter i hope that you took some time and reflected on the true meaning of Easter. We had the most beautiful morning at church and it's such a, such a great way to start out Easter, you know, at church, praising the Lord and um, just reminded of what he did for us on the cross. And also when I like got up this morning, I opened the door and the birds were chirping so loud. The sun was just starting to rise. It was just like, the perfect temperature. I was like, oh my gosh, what a perfectly beautiful Easter morning. Of course it got cooler and cloudy and rainy, but it did clear out. We didn't get thunderstorms and stuff. So I think tomorrow, the next couple days we might, but it is spring, so I'm excited about that. But thank you so much for hanging out with us this weekend. I hope that you enjoyed our family Easter. I hope that you had a wonderful Easter. I appreciate you guys so much for always coming back and watching and all your support. It means the world to me. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.